back about five years ago, we, the organization Wellington, saw that they had a problem with skilled trade. Our president and myself sat down and said, we need to be creative. We need to find tooling people or skilled trades. The skilled trades were vital to us and all of my competition. And there's, at the moment, there's a very large shortage of these people. Without skilled trades, it's in particular, again, in the tooling department, we'll die as an organization. They're the engine that runs our organization. So what we did is we decided to look into the apprenticeship program through the DOL. And my first call was through to Schoolcraft College. And we forged this wonderful partnership. And what we did is we said, since we can't get skilled trades, we'll have to get somebody inside our workforce with our team. And we uh, then did testing with our uh, current employees. And then we selected four people to go through the apprenticeship program. The apprenticeship program at Schoolcraft gave me the basic skills in order for me to get a tool room job. The, the instructors I had at Schoolcraft had a lot of experience in the fields that I was in. The skills I learned at the apprenticeship was how to weld, how to uh, machine and look at diagrams, learn how to tolerances and look at blueprints too. So it was a challenge uh, working full time and going to school and having a family, but I was able to overcome it. I guess the biggest takeaway from this program was the opportunity to learn more skills, to make the skills I have going in better. All my teachers were great. They went above and beyond to help me achieve what I needed to achieve. Let me come in early, before classes. Let me stay a little bit late and help me out the whole, during the whole process. If you're interested in being a tool man or in some sort of skill trades apprenticeship, I do recommend Schoolcraft College. The partnership that we forged with Schoolcraft has been absolutely wonderful. Um, the people I have dealt with there, Karen Maxton and Pamela Litton and uh, Amy, have been absolutely wonderful. It's been like a family. And I got to tell you, without their dedication and hard work and giving me direction and insight into this program, we would never have been successful. And we hope to continue that far into the future.